Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I'm out here in the field. It's about 54 degrees. It's cool, the wind's blowing, but it just has warmed up enough to where the bees are starting to hit the pollen feeder a little bit. And as the frost diminishes what's left of the goldenrod in the fields, you'll see the honeybees coming more and more to this feeder as their natural resources start to decline from the frost and the freezes they will take more and more onto this i've had this out here for about two weeks now and they barely touched it at first they didn't touch it at all about a week later they started showing a little bit more attention to it and today a little bit more and as we get some nice warm days through the winter you'll see these bees all over this because they'll feed on this all winter long. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but my level's about right there. And the good thing about these feeders, big blues, we call them big blue, is you put feet in there, they're waterproof. The, the rain, the way they're tapered up on the inside, I don't know if you can see, is they go uphill so the bees go up and in and feed on the pollen and the water stays out so it's good to have it level this needs to be a little bit more level than what it is but there's not been any water or rain get into it and we've had a good bit of rain now i've always been a big believer in offering bees pollen all through the winter they got to have a protein source if your golden rod was weak and let's say you, you fed them sugar water because I recommend feeding sugar water in the fall, especially to get your bees built up and to get their uh, reserve built up. But what they also got to have too is they got to have pollen. They got to have a protein source. Uh, a lot of hives will starve out and not because of honey. You open them up and they'll be full of honey, but the bees are dead. And a lot of people don't realize when they look and get to noticing that they don't have any pollen. Well, that they starve out, they gotta have pollen. They gotta have a protein source. Bees don't live on sugar alone, or nectar, or fructose, sutrose, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, they, that's their carbohydrates, they do have to have protein. So, these feeders right here, if you're interested in any of these, we have them at Barnyard Bees, and, uh, you can you can get bags of pollen from a five pound bag 10 pound bag all the way up to a 50 pound bag this right here holds uh it wouldn't hold 50 pounds um i had a five gallon bucket and it was almost full and it about filled it up and that that will probably last me the rest of the the winter so there's those bees will will feed on this pretty much through the winter and it'll give them a, a very good source of, of protein you can see look how dusted they are from being in the now bees bees are uh very territorial this time of year if you go over there and get in their hive they wouldn't be the same demeanor as you see them right here they'd be uh, a lot more aggressive but since they're out of their their hive and see they just kind of move off to another location and a lot of them they'll come in and feed and they'll get pollen all over their legs and those little hairs and they'll come out and you can see right here well he flew off right here's one here on the bottom uh they'll take their legs and they'll they'll pack those uh, their little pouches full of pollen and then they'll fly off to the hive. But these are very important. These will help get your bees through the winter. Um, like I said, if you're interested in any of these, check them out. Uh, our website, barnyardbees.com, or call the store. Either way, we got them. But I just thought I'd show that. It's, uh, it's one of those things throughout the winter that I can uh, show a little bit of activity in because most of the time the hives, I mean, you can just see them coming and going, you know, picking out the pollen, but I really like focusing on these feeders throughout the winter. Um, 
I just I love watching them. It just uh, it's part of uh, bee season through the winter that you can enjoy because they don't do a whole lot else of anything. You know they um, pretty much cluster when it's cold, come out and forage a little bit, but not a whole lot. They do their cleansing flights and such. Uh, like I said, the queen, she never does stop laying, but she will throttle down quite a bit. And they need to feed. Well, that's about it. I'll quit rambling on. Don't forget, folks. Please help share our videos, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnard Bees.